Hi, have you ever felt that this world is just not enough for you? You ever wanted to just jump into some virtual world which is completely customized for you so that you can feel that you're really there, you're just in there, just sitting right there on your seat, in your home. For example, you want to have a telepresence, you just want to teleport to your friend which, uh, which who stays in example Australia and you stay in India, you just want to teleport in front of her. So how can you do that? It's not possible till now. But we have just made a product which enables you to just teleport anywhere in this world, anywhere in this world. You just need two things. The product consists of basically two parts. First one is the sensory system, which consists of the eyes of the product and the ears of the product. Basically, it senses the destination who, where you want to teleport. Now, you have kept that, for example, in Australia, you just kept that somewhere else where you want to teleport. Now, sitting right there in India, on your bench or on your seat, on your couch, you can just feel that you're really there. For that, you just need a headset and a pair of headphones. So, the virtual reality headset we use is called the HMD. This is the head mounted display which you will wear, wear on your head like this and just a pair of headphones which will give audio. Through this you can just feel that you are somewhere else in 3D. The main prospect of this is it shows everything in 3D so you feel that you are really inside the virtual environment. You just immerse. You can see I am in a virtual world which I can experience. This is amazing. Wow. This is just awesome. So let's start with the construction of the project. It consists of two Raspberry Pi twin HD cameras which are mounted on the robot. And now we have dual 3D printed ears with unidirectional condenser mics which are used for audio input. And then we have the pan tilt servo mechanism which is used to rotate the ears as well as the cameras. And finally to view this in virtual reality we have the head mounted VR display. So now let's come to the first feature of the project which is real-time stereoscopic 3D vision. Now this vision is achieved through twin cameras which are mounted on the system. These cameras continuously stream live video feeds to the display and that too without any lag. These video streams are used to construct the 3D stereoscopic vision inside the headset. Now how this stereo 3D works? So. Basically, stereoscopic 3D works on the principle of binocular vision which is the combination of the left and right eye images to construct a 3D image. Now the left eye the right eye image combined to give you a 3D view. So just suppose you have a left eye image, just see carefully and then you have a right eye image. Now when we combine these two, we get a 3D image live on your desktop. Just see. You can see a 3D image which is a combination of the left and right eye image continuously switched. Just see the depth. The second example also shows you the same phenomena.
Basically, this is done in a head-mounted display which combines the left and right eye images continuously to your eyes with a particular IPD. It happens inside a headset which is responsible for combining the left and right eye images through lenses and you can get a 360 degree view of the environment. Now, the left and right cameras stream continuously video streams to the display and these two streams are combined in the headset to give you a 3D depth perception of the environment wherever the system is kept. Now the second feature is 360 degree head tracking. Now, my display which is basically a mobile phone has an orientation sensor and an accelerometer sensor which senses the moment of my head and sends to the system. Now as I rotate my head, the system also rotates. Basically the two cameras and the two ears also rotate synchronously and there is no time lag between my head moment and the system's rotation and it can rotate in all 360 directions. Now the working. Basically the headset contains the mobile phone which has the orientation sensor and an app which sends the accelerometer and orientation values to the Bluetooth module. Now this sends the accelerometer values to the Arduino which converts them into voltages which are responsible for driving the pan and tilt servo for the 360 moment of the camera. Now this camera is attached to the Raspberry Pis which convert the 360 video to stereo VR and then gives to the headset. So now as I rotate my head, the camera mounted on the system also rotates. Basically it replicates our vision and our hearing sensors. Basically two eyes and two ears of the human body. Now, the next feature is 3D binaural surround sound. Basically, binaural sounds are the reproductions of sound the way human ears hear it. Basically, you get the perception that the sound is coming from multiple directions, just like you perceive from your two ears in all 360 degree directions. We'll just see a quick demo of what is binaural sound. Now the setup used to record this is really expensive. The commercially used one is around $499 which is really really costly. So let's look what we built. So this is the setup which has two dual 3D printed ears with condenser mics and this costs only $25 and that's really cheap basically a homemade solution for that. So we have twin 3D printed ears which replicate the human ear exactly in the size. So we have condenser mics fitted into the ear to capture the audio in dual directions just like our ears do. Now I wear the headset and the sound coming from the two microphones is tethered wirelessly to my headphones. Now I produce the sound on the left, I perceive that on the left channel of my headphone, similarly on the right and in all directions where I produce sound, I can perceive that the sound is coming really from the direction where it's produced. This is basically how we integrated surround sound in the system. Let's look at some security applications of the system. It can be used for remote surveillance of your home and for that we need IoT based smart home automation which is basically 
the ability to control your home from anywhere in the world just from your smartphone. You can control various appliances like security appliances, locks, doors, lights, and even ACs and thermostats. Now let's look at the project and what we did. So here we have a setup which is used for smart home automation. So first we have the Wi-Fi module which connects to the internet and therefore you can access it from anywhere in the world just using your smartphone. Then we have Arduino Mega which receives the signal from the Wi-Fi about what to do and what to turn off. Then we have an 8 channel relay board so you can control up to 8 appliances in your home just from your smartphone. Just a click away. You can see there are lights, the menu for the lights and you can turn off and adjust the brightness from the lights just from your phone just by one click. So that's how you can use the system for surveillance and security purposes. Another security feature which is deeply integrated into the project is face tracking and facial recognition. In this, we map the facial features of the person using deep neural networks and then from a database we select out faces which are safe and which are not. So example, some staff enters, it won't alert, but if an unknown enters, it would alert. Through facial recognition, it can recognize facial IDs, which it learns through time. For example, in this video, you can see, it can recognize and track multiple faces at the same time. It can also use to lock the face and it doesn't let the face go out of range. Therefore, this functionality adds up to the security features of the system. Now let's look at some practical applications of the system. The first one is telepresence. It is the feeling of being somewhere else where you are not. So this guy is a representative of Microsoft HoloLens which is an augmented reality system. Now he wants to talk to his daughter who's at home. He puts on the headset and he feels that he is really in front of her and this is really a great feeling and this is a similar experience which you can get through our project but the cost of hololens is really high compared to our project which is which is really really cheap 